Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. I'm Cole, and welcome to my new series called... Science with Pokemon! Pokemon. 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 This is going to be the first episode in a series of videos that combines science and Pokemon together, comparing their similarities and contrasting their differences. Today's Spotlight Pokemon is going to be Victory Bell. Victory Bell, the flycatcher Pokemon. Lures prey with a sweet aroma of honey. Swallowed whole, the prey is dissolved in a day, bones and all. Wow, now that's a scary Pokedex entry. I could only imagine what it would be like if there was plants in the real world that ate stuff just like Victory Bell does. Well, it just so happened that there is carnivorous plants in the real world that actually eat meat, just like Victory Bell. Victory Bell was actually based off of a plant called the Pitcher Plant, which is a real plant in real life. The plant family Nepenthesi has a genus called Nepenthes. Just a quick glance at these plants will reveal exactly where Game Freak got the idea for Victory Bell. In this clip, we take a close look at Victory Bell using one of the new features on Pokemon Go. The Pokemon Go camera allows us to bring out our favorite Pokemon into the real world. Comparing this Pokemon Go video to a video of a real life picture plant shows a whole lot of similarities between the two. It's almost uncanny. So now that we know what the real life counterpart to Victory Bell is, we can start comparing the two to see if there's any similarities that Pokemon Company took into consideration when designing this Pokemon. Now can I get that Pokedex entry again? Victory Bell, the flycatcher Pokemon. Lures prey with a sweet aroma of honey. Swallowed whole, the prey is dissolved in a day, bones and all. Man, imagine if carnivorous plants were the same size as Victory Bell in real life. We would all be in trouble, but thankfully the flycatcher name given to Victory Bell also applies to the Nepenthes plant in real life. So the reason this plant has such a huge appetite is because digesting small organisms is how this plant gets the nitrogen it needs to grow. These plants had to adapt from their environment which lacked the nitrogen rich soil that they needed to grow. So in turn, over many years of the evolution process, we are left with the meat eating plants that we have today. Just like in the real world, Victory Bell had to adapt and evolve from its earlier stages to get to where it is now. So it seems that Victory Bell has a very similar diet to its real life counterpart in the actual Pokemon games. Now I wonder what other similarities we could find. Maybe it's habitat. Maybe we can look in and see if we can find what environment suits Victory Bell the best. One of Victory Bell's previous evolutions, Bellsprout, holds the key to helping us find the most suitable conditions for our carnivorous Pokemon friend. The Pokedex clearly states that in different generations that Bellsprout prefers hot and humid places or environments. Alright, so now that we have an idea of what conditions make our meat-eating plant happy, let's go on over to the real world and see what kind of environment the real-life counterpart to Victory Bell has going for it. Whew. And it seems very similar out here. Most pitcher plants are found in Southeast Asia, in countries like the Philippines, India, and Vietnam. Most of these countries lie on or near the equator, meaning that region is going to be very hot. But how about humid? Well, these areas are often covered in dense jungle with annual rainfall that can be more or less than 60 inches, making it very humid in this area, making this a very perfect location for our favorite Caterpie eating Pokemon. Whew, man, that jungle sure was hot. Now, Victory Bell and its real-life counterpart do have a whole lot of similarities, and I do applaud the people at Game Freak who took the time to do the research to make this Pokemon so similar to its real-life counterpart. So that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like and let me know. If you've learned something, comment down below. Tell me what you've learned for a chance to be featured in the next episode of... Science with Pokemon! Pokemon. Pokemon. Hey guys, I want to take this time just to celebrate and thank the Patreon supporters that I have on my screen right now. Wait, what is that? No. Actually, I don't have any Patreon supporters. Or is it that I don't have any Patreon supporters yet? The truth is, you guys can actually support me by clicking the link down below and becoming a Patreon supporter today. There's a lot of cool perks that come with each one and you guys can join today. It helps the channel out a whole lot. And I just want to go ahead and say if you guys like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I worked very hard and I appreciate all the support that I can get. So thank you guys for watching.